Hello and welcome back. Annoyingly, I am not coming and bringing good news. Um, surprisingly, my hair still isn't growing back and it's getting worse. It is in fact getting a lot bloody worse. My hair is basically breaking in so many different places now, I have lost track. I am getting new bald spots, the back of my hair is thinning to the point where I am struggling to keep it covered now. Like every time I am having to get ready, I am having to call up my husband and sort of say, can you see it? Am I hiding it? And then I'm moving like not even an inch and it's already showing and he's having to tell me that I need to adjust it. The amount of hairspray I am getting through at the minute is just insane. I am trying to wear so much hairspray, just keep everything absolutely solidly in place so it doesn't move, but to a degree it's just making things worse. It's so thin now, it is just insane. I know obviously it doesn't look like it too much on camera because I've clearly positioned myself and made sure I've got all those little specific little bits to make sure it's all hidden. But annoyingly, it's not as easy as that in real life. So if you've already been following up until this point, then you'll know that I originally thought my hair might slow down again. It has had a tendency to do that in the past, but annoyingly, it doesn't seem to be happening that way. It does just seem to sort of be continuing to come out and there doesn't seem to be any slowing it at the moment. So as you can see on camera, obviously it doesn't look that bad to you. Annoyingly to me, it is definitely extremely bad. I am struggling to cover any kind of bald spots now. Um, this probably one of the last few times already that I will be on camera with my hair down. Um, I might be able to squeeze in a couple more videos, hopefully, where I'm trying to do some hairstyles or something to that effect. Uh, so you can see what I normally do in this sort of interim stage where it's falling out pretty drastically but I need to have more coverage with some kind of like a bandana or a hat or that sort of effect. At the back of my hair it's um, really sparse now. That seems to be where it's thinned out probably the most which is probably why you can't see it too well because obviously the tops and making sure the sides are still looking covered. However, even at times I am struggling to keep my ear hidden because it keeps um, poking out between my hairline, which is a bit annoying. The other thing I've noticed, obviously, is that I have been suffering with a lot of stress. Um, it's been really difficult to keep on top of things like work. Work's been stressful as always. And as anyone else will, I have a tendency to take that work stress home with me. Um, it's kind of unavoidable to a degree but it's also frustrating that I can't do anything about it and that it seems to be making my hair last quite a bit worse. To show you what it's looking like at the moment, um, again as always you'll have to bet with me because um, I can't really see what I'm showing behind my head so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, on this side, previously I had obviously this bang bit here, a lot of this has fell out now already so it's thinned at the top here, there's a load of broken hairs that I can feel across this sort of bit and then it's coming up here and it's coming up a lot higher here now, all of this is also still broken and all my baby hairs that were previously going, growing right here are now falling out as well And then similarly on this side to this side, all my baby hairs have been falling out. There's a couple left. I'll try and show. The 
previously it was coming down there. So as you can see, it's obviously got a lot worse towards the back. Um, it seems to be that that's the main area of focus at the moment and it's slowly creeping its way upwards towards the top, roughly sort of backwards here. The point actually on my head here that I pointed out in my other videos also seems to be getting worse. Um, so thankfully that is So that's getting worse as well, that's slowly getting harder to hide. I think this sort of line of parting is all that I might have left. Um, and then I will soon enough be in bandanas again, pretty much constant. I have a bit of good news, which is the fact that I've now put a deposit down on a wig that I plan to be sort of a long-term investment in terms of an everyday sort of style wig and going to do the shopping, etc. As I've mentioned before, kind of crept up on me by sort of complete chance. I was um, just scrolling through my Instagram feed and I happened to see one that was sort of pretty much exactly what I was looking for bar a couple of changes. So that's underway now, which is a bit of good news for me, but annoyingly it does mean that um, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys as many things as I would have originally planned. I do plan on showing you quite a few bits, but you'll have to bear with me. Some of that might be post hair loss rather than pre um, completely baldness. I had originally planned to go to a salon, which is actually further north than where I live, and it was gonna be sort of <laughs> a big day trip and I plan on doing this massive video for you guys. Um, annoyingly it doesn't look like that will happen now or at least within the foreseeable future just because of how quickly things are moving. So it might have to be that I cover that after I've lost all my hair rather than before. One thing that I will mention in this vlog um, is obviously the fact that I said I would try and be honest as possible. So I could try and put rose tinted glasses on this and tell you everything's fine, you know, I'm just rolling with punches as normal, but that wouldn't really be the truth at the moment. At the moment, um, things do seem to be a bit more difficult than normal. Uh, I think because this whole hair loss at the moment has crept up on me, it's not really followed its usual pattern. It's kind of winded me quite a bit emotionally as well as physically. A lot of other people might know already that may or may not follow me on Instagram that I suffer with fibromyalgia. That definitely seems to be taking quite a hit at the moment. Um, my dizziness has returned, I'm getting headaches again, all sort of major signs of uh, a lot of stress if you will. Definitely having sleeping problems again which is another big big Thing for me at the moment. Of course all of this is just sort of sideswept under the rug when you know actually the, the real problem is the fact that my hair is falling out and I can't really do anything to stop it. I have no control over this whatsoever and I just I can't do anything. So obviously a big thing at the moment is that my self-image is taking quite a bit of a knock. I am struggling to find myself even remotely sexy, I'm, I'm struggling to feel attractive, I'm struggling to feel any kind of creative output with how I look. So normally I like to do my hair in curls, I like to try and do pin up 50s sort of style and that sort of thing, but with this being so repressing of all that, I am finding it quite difficult.
There have obviously been a lot of conversations lately between me and my husband. Um, I like to check in with him quite often to make sure I know how he's feeling, how what he's going through with it all. Um, I'm not ignorant in the fact that I'm not the only one going through this. Whether or not it's obviously affecting me the most, um, it's definitely affecting him as well. I know for a fact he feels quite helpless and he just wishes he could do something to help but <laughs> I don't even like knowing that, that that is me that's making him feel this way. Um, it's quite annoying, it's quite upsetting. I'm normally the kind of person that's in control of most situations and with a condition like this, it's so hard to hold on to that control. You have it completely took away from you. It's unpredictable, it's unfair, it's, it doesn't take any... Obviously, it's not the worst thing out there, but, you know, there's, there's some days where it definitely feels like it could be. I'm at the point now, obviously, I do plan on shaving my hair. I'm just hoping that it's not going to all fall out before I have any left to shave at all. Uh, the hope is obviously that my wig comes in a decent amount of time, that I can shave my hair and record it and hopefully share it. Now I've been about sort of two and a half, three weeks since my first main vlog video, not the one going on my whole history. Um, as mentioned in that one, obviously it's getting worse. Um, I was hoping just to sort of see how things were going to go, but you can sort of tell things aren't really going great. I'm at that point now where my hair is so delicate that um, I'm actually trying to avoid using any kind of heating elements on it, so no straighteners, no curls, that sort of thing. And me and my husband went out on Saturday, sort of a date night, um, because we sort of knew things with my hair were coming to an end, so we sort of tried to have a last hurrah, if you will, and decided to get dressed up, feel good about ourselves, um, and I tried to do something with my hair, but even then it wasn't really cooperating. But at least we've got some kind of photos and things of us, as it, us together, what might be our sort of last, last time together dressed up with my actual real hair. I know that might sound quite sad to some people, but I think for me it was very important to sort of have those to look back on. One thing that I'm now obviously struggling with is the thought that I need to tell people, or at least start telling people, that I plan on shaving my head. Now I know a few people might already know this just from watching a couple of these videos already. Annoyingly, I wish I would have had the chance to tell them in person, but it seems to be most people nowadays find out more about me through my social media than they care to sort of ask about me. still obviously have quite a few people that might not be watching these videos so aren't staying up to date at all and either way there's definitely quite a few people that I'd like to tell in person nonetheless like my mum and dad, my sisters maybe, um, work are always a big problem. I'm beginning to struggle with a lot of thoughts now on how people are going to see me after I've shaved my head. So now this is obviously a very real possibility for me. I have mentioned it very slightly to people in the past, but I don't know, I don't think they always thought it would be something that ever comes to play, really. So now I'm struggling with the sort of ideas of how I'm gonna sort of, um, for lack of a better term, and sorry if this seems insensitive to anyone, um, how I'm gonna come out um, with a bald head. Um, if anyone's actually going to want to see it for its starters. Um, the other thing is obviously if they do, how am I going to be with that? Um, I think for the best part I'll be fine anyway. I'm quite blasé about stuff like this. It's people like my nieces, well, it's the ones I love, like my nieces, that might be difficult because they might not understand quite as well. Um, 
the older ones might, the younger ones might not. We're all trying to sort of talk to them about what this really means in terms of the bigger picture for me. Like, you can't run and jump up and grab Auntie Abby, for example, because her hair might fall off. Um, it's things like that that they might not quite understand. Then it's the other thing, it's, I, I don't really want to scare them either. I remember my eldest niece asking if this means her, she's going to lose her hair. And I just, my, my heart absolutely broke at that point and I just felt horrible. There are days where obviously it's tough because you try not to compare yourself to anyone else. But it's kind of unavoidable. Um, people that take their hair for granted, I know it seems like such a stupid, superficial thing, but the way people do take their hair for granted, to me, is you see it so much more clearly and until you're the one that's actually losing it. Oh, 